In this video, I want to discuss the topic of fantasy. Now, I see fantasy as humanity's technique of coping with reality. And I don't necessarily see fantasy as a positive or a negative thing. It's kind of neutral. But it has the capabilities of being positive or negative and being constructive or detrimental to somebody's uh, growth and progression in life. Uh, fantasy, when I mean by coping with reality, I mean that we fantasize in order to... There are many different reasons that we fantasize, and I'm going to go through a list of some to kind of relate and see if they maybe resonate with some of your reasons that you fantasize as well. Uh, but we fantasize to establish a safe space, to establish that we can always kind of rebound to our fantasy and like in the worst detrimental pain and uh, the worst circumstance of life we can close our eyes and start to visualize and fantasize with what's going on and we fantasize in order to establish a change of mood or a change of tone so we are feeling a, a subjective way that we aim to shift and change and we fantasize in order to give this new feeling something to hold on to and something to find relevance in. Pardon me for a second. We fantasize to become more intimate with our internal self and desires and all of our unmet dreams and unmet goals that we have we fantasize to understand that we are within ourselves and that we have things that we are pushing towards and pushing against at the same time we have standards that we set up in our brain and we fantasize lastly and there's probably way 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 more reasons but this is just a short list i wrote up but we fantasize to embolden and just embolden the creative aspects of our consciousness and of our state so that we can you know kind of brainstorm and bring together our state of curiosity so we can remain creative throughout this experience but if we are overtaken by fantasy and like find reverence in it at all times then this can often be detrimental the overindulgence of fantasy will lead to a state of unaffiliation and being unable to connect through integrity with your environment so you'll be living in your own little world quite literally which will make you kind of a contradictive and uh like detrimental force and and part of the objective state of of all of us and so i think it's best to understand when it comes to fantasy that it's okay to fantasize but as long as you don't become in like a uh, invested in that fantasy cuz a lot of times people will fantasize so much that they predict the outcome of, a, like they desire or predict an outcome of an interaction. And that prediction or desire kind of leads to an expectation. I mean, if given, you know, weight, if that desire or prediction is given relevance. And within that expectation breeds a state of contradiction. And within that contradiction breeds breeds a state of possibility of conflict and I, I think it's best to understand that fantasy is a big part of life and a big part of reality but it's kind of an extension of the environment and of the reality that we've been conditioned to be in and exist within and I think it's also very important to understand when we develop like f fantasy patterns because this would most likely and could indicate like an area of our life or in an area of our 
like state of now that needs to be assessed and reevaluated and uh needs some pressure, some application of energy, so to say. But if your mind truly needs something, uh it will take action through its uh influence rather than achieve it through fantasy. It will try to find a way to extend that fantasy into a manifestation so that it doesn't have to fantasize, so to say. Either way, I feel like fantasy is a big part of our, uh, kind of our immature side and our child nature that we keep with ourselves, but it's also needs to be assessed so that we don't constantly live within the state that is not actually, uh, harmonizing with our environment so either way i think it's very fun and very progressive at times to take note of your fantasies and to uh kind of see how they are similar to each other and kind of where what you fantasize on the regular about and yada 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 to see your subjective patterns of fanatical behavior so that you can actually, you know, understand and, and assess this so that you can make progressive movement to manifest your your environment to kind of live within the terms of that fantasy as long as you're being constructive with your intention as always. Either way, I love you guys. That's all I have to say about that. And I have some more coming. So y'all be good.